What up everybody, back with another Alliance War video. Um, season 18, War number 9. Uh, we are matched with a Silver Alliance? Um, when I looked at this, I had to double check. I actually went to their Alliance and yeah, I don't know what's going on with the matchmaking system. But anyway, um, we've got just a few fights here today. Um, so tune in. So I brought someone different this war, a uh, thing. I normally don't bring him in, but I'm bringing him in for the Aegis Path. Uh, so we're gonna have two fights there. We don't have very many fights today. Um, I think six total. Yeah, um, no mini boss action, uh, but we do get uh, Mojo the boss. Um, so yeah, a little bit different team for me uh, this time around, but let's take a look. So our first fight is Voodoo, and again, I'm bringing in Thing. Um, uh, he's just, I, I kind of like him on Aegis. Um, if he can fit into my team, I think I'm gonna start bringing him, but um, nothing special, Aegis. Um, now this guy is running Limber. Um, so you'll see me get tagged on the first parry of the fight. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. Um, just didn't throw my attack fast enough. Um, so I parry here and then boom, he smacks me. But when I started my heavy, I started protection. So me getting tagged didn't phase things one bit. So here we remove the charges. Um, and at this point, um, Voodoo is, is regening and I wanna build my rock stacks. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting a little bit, parrying. Um, now, one thing that's interesting, thing with the Human Torch Synergy, uh, whenever he's at max rock stacks 20, uh, anytime he gains any more rock stacks after that, they get converted automatically or instantly uh, to a passive fury. So I just want to, the, the thing about that synergy, you just want to parry, 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 parry. I mean, literally. Um, and it helps Thing because Thing is kind of a ramp up in terms of his damage until he reaches all of his passive furies. So this synergy allows you um, to, to, you know, ramp up your damage a little bit quicker. So, well, and, and right now with these passive furies that I have, you can see the damage um, that Thing is doing on Voodoo. So, and, and again, we're, we're parrying, but... We're barely taking any damage, so I kind of like thing uh, uh, on this Aegis uh, Aegis pass. So we'll we'll see how how it goes in the future. But Voodoo goes down. Um, now we're going on to our next fight. Now I didn't bring thing into this fight. Um, not sure why. I, I just chose to to go with Corvus in this fight against Kingpin. Um, so we bring Corvus in and again, uh, Kingpin, he, he has the ability to shrug off debuff so he can shrug your, your stun off. So I just want to back him up to the wall, um, counter his heavy right here and remove those charges. Um, and now I can just, you know, kind of fight Kingpin straight up, um, which is not a tough fight. As long as you're not parrying him to death, uh, you know, take the chance of getting your stun shrugged. Um, there's not much to wor wor worry about. So you see me dancing here, hitting into his block, building up his power, baiting specials, um, and then using my attack to eventually take him out. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it is here. Um, Corvus, uh, now I don't have any charges and actually in this war, this is the only fight that Corvus, uh, actually, he takes a Killmonger fight, but uh, he had two fights out of my six this war, um, and Thing took uh, took about three or four, I believe. So, Kingpin's down, and now we're uh, moving on to our next fight, which uh, the fight here, uh, our past seven guy took. So yeah, like I said, um, 
that fight was taken everything at the middle center section was taken so now i'm moving on to my second section path uh path nine inverted controls which has a killmonger on it um killmonger can be very aggressive so i can see the placement here what i wanted to do was just kind of stall out the timer uh by parrying moving heavy attack and um and then once that timer was over now i can kind of fight killmonger straight up because again he can be very aggressive uh, i've made tons of mistakes against this defender um his reverberation um the unstoppable passive that he gets after an sp1 hitting into his block i mean i've made more than my fair share of uh mistakes against this guy but uh here we get to our sp2 no damage taken um and then we move on to our next fight So here we have on inverted controls, the second fight, which is Thing. Um, I'm actually gonna bring in Thing to take on this thing. Um, <laughs> but again, the game plan here is to parry, 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 parry. Uh, again, that Human Torch synergy is clutch for Thing. It kind of ramps up his damage a lot faster than what it normally would be. Um, so, here you see me just parrying, um, trying to get some of these passive furies out, um, and hoping that thing cooperates in terms of throwing his specials. So yeah, right out the gate, as soon as I push him up, he's uh, throwing his specials. So I'm thinking, well, okay, this this fight might go according to plan. And um, as you can see, he is he's very liberal with throwing his specials. So. I'm kind of, you know, with 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so into the fight, and I'm like, okay, this is this is not going to be bad at all, which it shouldn't have been, to be honest with you. But, um, again, we parry. We're trying to build up some furies, build up his power a little bit, um, trying to bait out some specials. And the uh, thing is just, he's just a tank. He's just a tank. He's, he's taking blocked hits. Thing is that you know 30 some odd passive furies or so and uh, these block hits are doing little to next to nothing so um, here we get him to throw a special we're just gonna beat into him a little bit um, parry some more try and get some more passive furies um, and uh, and I'm hitting pretty good right now at this point um, I just need him to throw another special to go ahead and end the fight and um, should be good to go to move on to the next fight and down goes thing so we're moving on to our next fight uh, now this fight um, with against SS on close encounters it's a great matchup for thing uh, thing can't be nullified uh, class disadvantage over SS. Uh, what can you ask for here? I'm just going to parry again, try to build up my passive furies. Um, this is pretty much an easy fight for for thing. Um, the only damage that I'm taking is from close encounters here. When I'm away, I start to degen. But here I'm running suicides. You're going to see me throw a special, but I'm going to start my protection. Um, and I don't take any damage from the recoil as I let my special go. Uh, as you can see, I, I took nothing from the recoil. Uh, protection uh, covered that all. But here again, I just wanted to beat him in the corner. Um, he doesn't gain power very much, and I wanted to make sure I bait out his SP1. Um, again, the only damage I'm taking here is from Close Encounters. Um, I probably could have did a better job staying close to SS, but uh, this was Thing's last fight, so he got the job done as usual. He's such a tank. I love it. I love it. Now, this next one is pretty much our last fight of the war, and that is the Mojo main boss. 
Um, at this point, the war was already over. As you can see, we won the war. Shout out to the Alliance. Shout out to all the MVPs. Um, great win. Um, so I'm just going to let this play back. Uh, let the music ride with it. And uh, thanks again, everyone to, that's watching. I really appreciate it. Um, there was nothing about this fight. Uh, just, again, Human Torch. I just want the Mystic Champ to touch me as many times as possible. So I'm blocking everything. I'm not intercepting. I'm blocking. And um, watch this guy melt. Thanks again, everyone.